This is a real seahorse that can run on the sea. Three friends rode on its back, and the seahorse raced across the ocean at speeds of up to 200 km per hour. They rode fast, getting their pants and shoes all wet. The seahorse had no flaws and quickly reached the cruise ship. Once on the ship, they encountered a wild beast that immediately threatened to eat them. Bob's henchmen arrived and captured all three, bringing them into the ship's hold for Bob to deal with. Bob promptly locked them in a cell because he had built a prison in the ship's lower deck. However, the three weren't about to sit idly by. Anna pulled out a special treasure from her bag, a magical adhesive tape that made things disappear when applied. Jack used the tape to create a hole in the cell wall, allowing them to escape. The beast guarding the cell was still sleeping, so they made their way out and reached the deck. Other people on the ship noticed them, and Bob ordered his henchmen to capture them. Leading to a fierce struggle, Jack directed Anna and her friend to launch a lifeboat while he caused a diversion. Bob couldn't resist and came out, demanding Jack to surrender. However, at that moment, Anna and her friend successfully launched the inflatable boat. Jack urged them to go ahead. Anna then took out a bottle of air freshener. The stream of air freshener, like a jet engine, sent the lifeboat flying in an instant. Jack created a massive wave and rode it swiftly, with Bob in pursuit, but Jack knocked him away with a powerful blow. Jack caught up with his friends, and they managed to escape. However, they realized John was missing from the ship. When the air freshener ran out, their boat drifted aimlessly at sea for three days and nights. Suddenly, they encountered serrated edges in the water, initially mistaking them for sharks. As more serrated edges appeared, they feared it might be a school of sharks. To their surprise, these were just the teeth of a sea monster. The sea monster was colossal, and they found themselves inside its mouth. The sea monster began to draw water, pulling all three, along with their boat, inside. The boat passed through the sea monster's throat and traveled several kilometers before reaching its stomach. Inside, they discovered numerous skeletons and shipwrecks, evidence of the sea monster's many human meals over the years. In the distance, they spotted a naval ship, and Amy was aboard. She had also been swallowed by the sea monster a few days earlier. They needed to escape quickly, as the sea monster's stomach acid could dissolve them, and it had a meat grinder for hard to digest items. Jack and Amy devised a plan to create a small hole in the sea monster's stomach, then used the naval ship's impact to force their way out. The naval ship successfully broke free from the sea monster's body and reached the surface, ensuring their survival. A few days later, the naval ship arrived at a small island where they found John, who had been captured by a one-eyed giant and turned into a slave. The group worked together to rescue John, but Jack wouldn't let the others off easily. In the end, they made a deal with a fierce fire god. The fire god devoured John and tried to kill Jack, who unleashed his hidden potential and defeated the fire god with a sword, saving everyone. However, Bob was captured by the one-eyed giant and became the giant's meal.